it's just turning into like my confessional, isn't it? Like those, they do those shows where like, and then the person talks off camera to somebody and comments on their life. I'm James Lodge Jr. This is 50 plus, not live. Um, and I'm coming to you again here on another Monday. Um, uh, I'm doing better this Monday than I was last Monday. Thank you everybody for your kind words and support through that tough time of remembrance and being without. Yeah, the rest of the week continued that a little bit without my stepdad. It was his birthday and he wasn't here for some, he's not here. So it's, there was stages of grief. I was very emotional last week, um, as you saw on the show here. Thank you for allowing me to do that and share that with you. But we're doing better this week and we got through it. And that's what you do, just get through it. You, ex you experience the emotions, you get through it. Um, this weekend was good. Uh, I had some some fun time, some work time. I'm finally feeling like I'm really getting organized in my professional life and personal life. Today, I have a new book out, The Man at the End of the Street. It's really good. Check it out. It's a mystery. I've been working on music. I have some new music coming out for some of my artists in the next couple of months. And I'm working on my own albums and stuff. And we're going to be very creative. I have some more audio dramas uh, about to drop, and those are previously recorded, you know, from last year. Um, and But my creative juices, I can feel, are flowing in terms of wanting to write something new. But I decide I still want to finish all the old stuff, get it up and out, um, and then hopefully this the strikes will be over and we can go from there. But it's just, it's, oh, it's just, this, these strikes are just... And the strikes to talk about, of course, are the WGA, the writers, and the SAG after the actors. It's just, we're at this point, heading towards 120 days, you know, heading towards several weeks. I mean, for the, the actors, this is ridiculous. Um, it's shutting down all of Hollywood, basically. It's, it's just ridiculous. But I'm in solidarity with them. But I'm working other jobs and things and i just want to give a special special thank you to the folks who uh, i had my first fundraising telethon a little mini one on friday i needed a i needed a goal of a couple hundred dollars to do some projects and we hit it we like literally hit it by a few dollars over so thank you everybody contributed i gave away two for one um zoom things so people have some free zooms coming up in their in their system so thank you for that and some just gave to give, so thank you. Uh, those projects have been funded, and so there are music projects, and so you will know more as they come out. I'll let you know exactly who you are and what you what you funded towards. Um, so thank you. It costs money to produce albums and put stuff out and, and all that stuff. Everything costs money. Everything. Um, and so thank you so much. Uh, I I wanted to keep. I wanted to stay on track for a couple of things and. Real too, and also it helps my artists feel excited. It helps me feel like I'm doing something that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, meaningful, and I'm able to stay on my schedule because um, I've been sacrificing a lot uh, to help everybody else. And you know, you have to learn. You can uh, you can ask for help. You ask for help all the time. Um, and for me, I'm asking for help, and I'm actually giving you something in return. Um, so it's like, I'm not just asking for to take, 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 I'm actually giving you all kinds of content, um, in exchange for it. I mean, I have some, I mean, I'm doing so many different things. It's not even funny. Right. Um, and I want to thank all, again, you were not here on my Patreoners. Um, I saw one increased her membership. So thank you very much. You, you you're getting more stuff. I put stuff on there every day. I have so much stuff on my Patreon, patreon.com slash James Lodge Jr. You should join. We have a dollar tier. There's one for a dollar a month. If you don't want to spend a lot of money or you're not sure about subscriptions, a dollar a month. And I have so much for a dollar a month. Like you get so much stuff. Um, then I have five dollars, ten, fifteen dollars, ten dollars, and twenty dollars. So, but the 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 ones that were my twenty and ten dollar, I love you guys so much. Thank you. But the ones that are one in five, I love you too because I mean, like I said a hundred, a hundred, one dollars, a hundred dollars, and five dollars. I mean, it all it all adds up. It all adds up, and I just appreciate you guys so much. I can't believe we're at the end of almost the end of August. I don't even know where everything went. 
and I'm working on September and figuring out what's happening in September. I have some decisions to make for October, November, and December. Uh, I got some offers to do some work, which I said yes, and things in, in January, February, March of next year already. Very excited. Uh, my weight loss journey has been wonderful. Like I said, I, I've lost over the last, it's been a month now, a month a month of as of today. It's been a month. I started this journey. I lost seven pounds, but that's not even the part because I plateaued last week and I got a little down, like plateaued. That's not even, who cares? The thing is, my clothes are fitting differently. I feel like my face is, is starting to go down. Like it's starting to get a little smaller again. I had a face, my face and neck front just like it was getting big. I'm looking at older pictures going, okay, it's starting to happen. But shirts like this, I couldn't fit. They're starting to fit now. They're fitting me differently. Um, I'm having more energy. I'm sleeping very well. I mean, I have nothing, I mean, things like that. It's, it's very interesting, this whole um, journey, working out on the treadmill, I'm walking longer. Like, I'm trying to get this weight off me because I think the weight is the part that hurts my, makes my lower back hurt, my hips hurt, and things like that. So, um and I'm taking more organizing jobs, working more in the in the garden. So I'm doing active, 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 active. And I've been really watching what I eat. I really have. I've been watching what I eat, almost probably to my detriment. I'm trying to, I got to let loose every once in a while. But I've been really just, I'm very focused on this. I want to lose 100 pounds by next year. So, meaning next birthday, not by December, or January, but like by next March, next May. And I think you know, I can do it. I think I can do it. I don't think it's a problem. I think I can do it. So we're focusing on that. Um, and so it's been fun. It's been, it's been eye-opening for me to do this because I'm really focused. I have my food journal. Where it's, you know, I'm almost, it's the first month. And it's almost, I'm actually, I'm ending it. I didn't plan this. It's actually ending on today. So whatever I have for dinner next, that's the last entry. I can't believe it. It's, can't believe it. So very ironic. I have a new book. Also, I have a new book. Also, I'm going to show you guys something. Also, also, well, it's my new book. We'll use for my next food journal. Uh, good things come to those who hustle. I love it. And so I'm gonna be using this next. Um, so I'm very excited to do that. Um, yes, it looks to be good. Um, and I have all kinds of stuff finding, all kinds, of, all kinds of stuff that I am finding that goes in there. So I was like, I'm getting some stuff separated. That goes in there. Um, I'm gonna do work while I'm talking to you guys. Okay, so I'm doing work. But I want to show you something too. So I think it's really cool. Speaking of anniversaries and things. So 16 years ago, I was at a dinner party, and I was actually I was at a dinner party. I want to take these. I take these out. I was at a dinner party, and I. Uh, and my life was changed. Just go, just coming to LA, going to this dinner party, had a good time, and uh, went to Magic Castle. Uh, did a couple of things, and so far, yeah, I got. Oh yeah, I got. Oh, I'm looking. I'm trying to look at some stuff. I look at my Magic Castle things. Um, but anyway, um, and I had the best time. Now, as funny as um, <laughs> one of these couples is not together anymore. Uh, the other one, I was sure, and then me and my 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 friend Michelle, my friend and my friend Shannon. Um, I went to this dinner party, went to visit, and had a great time. But I ended up sitting next to and talking to a woman named Shannon Speaker. She was a second AD on House. I believe that was your title. And she's saying you should be on television. We were just getting along, laughing, and I'm like, I'm in San Francisco working a corporate job. I don't know what she's talking about. I love TV, but I'm thinking it's hard to do that, right? You can't get on TV. She was like, I can't. And she was working on House, the number, like the number one show of, the, of that season, where it was like a huge hit. It was in its uh, fourth season, and she said, "I get you on. Just tell you when you want to come down, and I'll get you on." So I did something smart. I told my my bosses, "I'm taking a week off. I had vacation time, so I get paid for that." Came to LA, stayed here at this house. I wasn't even living here yet. Quite funny. Didn't look like this when I was here. Um, and then I went. Uh, I went on to the house. I was there, and and I'm in episode four, season four. I do have stuff. Hey, Doctor Simpson, um, and I, I I bit the bug was bitten for me. So this picture, I would not be here today with you guys. If it wasn't for this picture, which I found the other day, and Shannon's the third from the 
right. Uh, my friend Sharon, that her ex, uh, my friend uh, Steve, I don't know if he's with that person anymore, and then me, my, my best friend Michelle, we had the best time. So to Shannon, to Sharon, all the, thank you so much. I really, I owe a lot of my beginnings because of you guys, um, me coming down to this thing. It, it made me go, I was already tired of the job that I had anyway. I was getting tired of it anyway. I was getting tired of it. But it gave me, it gave me an insight that, oh, you could do background acting. I didn't know what that was. You could like you could actually do stuff, and it was the right timing. It was two thousand seven. It was the right timing that technology was changing too. Um, so that led me. It wasn't until two years later I moved to L.A. But it was it, it led me on this thing. Like, oh, I can go to L.A. There isn't an option. I could do something. This was a lot of fun. The bug was bitten. I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, but I signed up with Virgo Talent, and I was like, I'll. They have some jobs for me. I'll come to L.A. and do some jobs. I was living in San Francisco, so it wasn't far away. So. Um, it's not the end of I don't remember when that was exactly. I have to look back into my archives and my journals and stuff, but I just know that I found that picture yesterday. I was like, that's why I'm here today in 2023, talking to you. Imagine that, right? Uh, so this makes me smile. And this business is hard. It is hard. And there's been times when I couldn't do it. There are times when I had to take care of family stuff. There are times I had to take care of my other business stuff, my organizing business stuff i were times when i had to leave town and live somewhere else in between of all this and i thought i was gonna leave la i mean there's a there's i, I look back at my 16 years in this business and go wow there's so much has happened i have my own network now i have several businesses i'm really working hard and navigating this whole strike thing which is expected to affected me also uh and covid and the pandemic death i'm caregiver all this stuff, it's very interesting to go through all this stuff and try to keep it together. But in the end, I wouldn't have any, I wouldn't have any other way. I mean, I, I plan on doing this for the rest of my life, however long that is. Um, and I am, and I know that I'm one of the most fortunate people in this business to have a fan base and a, a follower group that enjoys my product, whatever it is. I have friends, I have people who just like my music, some like my books, whatever, but you guys, are supporting me, supporting my product. And I, I just, and I know I keep doing this with your support. You guys lift me up every day. I see the comments. They're wonderful. And I I said, when I've come, when I've, when I've said I've needed help, you guys have come to my rescue. I can't even, my colleagues, my colleagues, they, they know. They're just like, James, you just, you live in the life. And I, I am, I live in the life. I can't even, can't complain at all. So thank you. So this week, as we take things day by day, right, and week by week, this week, I am well, and I'm doing well today. I'm James Lodge Jr., 50 Plus is audio and video. It's everywhere you want to be. JLJ Media is the YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and comment. And I will talk to you next week. I'm sure I will. Talk to you next week. Or probably the week after. I wanted to. I'll talk to you guys.